Alright, hey guys, what is up? I am here with some big news and um, I have some things to address, some important things. Most of you may follow me on Twitter and saw my tweet about me withdrawing my position from Fuckboy Friday. I am recording this for YouTube as well as live streaming it, so I will be interacting with chat for those of you on YouTube. If you guys are like, what is she talking about? Or who is she talking to? I'm talking to my chat, I'm talking to you guys on YouTube about my um, withdrawal from Fuckboy Friday. Um, so. It's kind of a long story. Um, so Fuckboy Friday was going to be filmed in a studio, which is really awesome. It was super exciting. I was kind of keeping it on the DL. I wanted to like surprise you guys. Um, and so it was supposed to happen this previous Friday, which it is Monday. I don't know when it is on YouTube right now, probably Tuesday, I don't know. Anyways, so, um, I was supposed to hit, like, go to the studio, be a part of the Fuckboy Friday, in the studio, higher production, and, um, you know, life happened, and, uh, something that happened that was completely out of my control, like, happened and I needed to take care of it um but before we get to that the um the deal was for fuckboy friday and myself the studio is located in LA I am located in Pacific Northwest not in you know California where you know Sonya and Haley are local and I was willing to try and see if flying to LA every Friday for the um, for the show was something that I would be willing to do and I was willing to like try it and see how that went um, so for the first episode everybody was like really excited I you know I was getting ready in the morning on Friday, and um, as I was trying to, you know, get an Uber to come pick me up, I literally tried six different times to request an Uber, and um, I wasn't able to get one. So I was like, okay, whatever, I will drive my car to the airport, park it, and then when I came back that evening, just drive it home, right? Simple, easy. I was going to the airport, and as I was driving to the airport at 80 miles per hour in morning traffic behind two semi trucks, my tire decides to blow out, right? Which is terrifying. It is terrifying when that happens. I've never had it happen to me before. And I was, you know, I was lucky enough that I was able to control my car until I got to the shoulder and, like, no harm was done to me, physically. I was, I came out, somebody was looking over me and was like, not today! You gonna make it out of this! Not today! So... I, um, before I called anyone for help or for, you know, like, hey, I'm alive, I called the studio and said, hey, like, I was on my way to the airport, right? And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to be able to make my flight because my car was, you know, my car is important, especially right now, um, I'm in the middle of a move, uh, Jesse currently isn't able to drive, 
and it is crucial for me right now to have my car. And so I was like, I need to take care of this. I'm not going to be able to miss, you know, or I'm not going to be able to make my flight. I'm going to, you know, I'll be like, I'll set my setup up and I will tune in to Fuckboy Friday through a Skype call or whatever. Just let me know. Like, I can't make the flight, right? So, I, um, you know, as I was, like, fixing my car, I realized, like, I just kind of, like, a lot of things were put into perspective for me with, you know, Fuckboy Friday and how much I've been doing and, like, just, like, all this stuff that I've just been trying to, like, keep up with and my car having its tire blow out made me realize that like it was like the universe being like slow down just chill out you don't need to do all this i'm gonna make you slow down i'm gonna make you like think about some stuff which i did recently i have not been taking care of myself as much you know, I haven't been eating as well, you know, eating fast food and I, you know, haven't been sleeping as much and I've been doing way more than what I can actually handle and I was just running myself down and I was physically drained and it made me realize that flying out to Fuckboy Friday every Friday is something that I am not able to do. It's just not, not something that I was willing to commit to as much because as much as Fuckboy Friday was a awesome thing for the channel and it was fun while it lasted, I have other things that I'd like to do. And making a huge commitment to Fuckboy Friday would hinder the ability to commit to other things that I have planned. So, that being said, I asked them if there was any way for me to tune in through Skype call or tune in via some way that I was able to still be a part of the show, but from home. And then I, you know, thought about it and that really defeats the purpose of having Fuckboy Friday in a studio. The higher production value is like hindered because of me not being able to be there in person and that, you know, it defeats the whole point. So, I'm not able to make that commitment to fly out every Friday and I don't want the show's production value to not be at its highest because I can't make it. So I made the ultimate decision that I'm just going to withdraw from the show. And uh, that is what happened. And I'm actually, I'm very glad that I've made that decision because I have not been taking care of myself and I will be able to really focus on getting back to a good place health-wise, a good place, you know, mentally, and just take care of myself without overwhelming myself. So that is the news, and um, yeah, I'm really excited. And I'm really excited for Fuckboy Friday. I'm excited to see what happens with it. I'm excited to see where it goes. And it's going to be great for everyone. So, yeah. yeah. Welcome, everyone, to Fuckboy Friday. I hope that you're all doing okay. A place to ask questions about relationship shit. Problems, anxiety, how to find the clip. We have Sonia. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. 
the prestigious leader of the Fox Fam. Then of course there's Hay Linux, recently engaged to Big Dick Rick. Lastly, it's <laughs> Ali, who's second to none, known on Fuck by Fridays as the Squirt Gun. Every week they give advice and Google things that aren't very nice. If you have a question, don't ask in chat. Send a donation that they can look at. Otherwise, the spam is nuts. A mess of questions all about butts. <laughs> One last thing before we start. While having much knowledge to impart, they're not professionals in this respect. But we can cover almost any subject. We so go ahead. Speakers. Don't be shy. Ask the girls who say hi. Hi. <laughs> but if you don't think your question through, the semen demon could come for you. Oh, Alice. Did you just great. say I'm a I'm something about being a squirt gun again? <laughs> I'm not a squirt gun. Tell me. Ah! Oh, okay. I see. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, does it auto play? Oh. Let me try to play with you. I have the on. Am I gonna be sick? Am I gonna be muted? Just... No. No, you won't. Just mute it, though. Stop eating. Uh, you have it. to watch it, though. Think it. No, I'm not watching it. I won't do it. The fact that my chat is spamming, don't watch it. No, don't do it. Don't watch it. Rip, don't do it. I'm not watching it, Zanya. I'm not doing it! Did you at least Google it to see what it was? I'm not a squirt gun! Oh my god, I'm, I'm legitimately gonna throw up right now. Same tone, multiple times. Wait, 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 no. Can you believe Mary had a little lamb? Oh my god! Oh my ears! My ears are hurt! <laughs> Ali, you are throwing pots and pans downstairs. That is what you're doing. She has like mimosas. Mimosas. It's my god. I, oh. Wait, wait, what? I feel like I'm missing. May something look here. like a rubber band. Oh. Bleeding? No! Uh, okay. Okay. Dude! Do you need to get a circumcised? <laughs> yeah. That Wait, is pain. I'm missing something here. What the even, fuck is going on? I don't even Google have a wiener and I'm in pain. I Google. Oh. oh, daddy. Oh, I love it when you touch me like that. Listen, you, you bring the best juicy eel soup I've ever had and I, I, I also the big chunky balloons that you bring to oh my goodness the, the balloon fetish and the eel soup is too much for me please bring your sexy fiance dick lesson with 2MG over C squared. And don't get manipulated. You gotta go. There you go. Just don't, don't fuck with it. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's it. It was fun. GG! Yeah. Yeah.